7613 Hermitage. Let me show you the neighborhood first. Numbers on this property. Purchase price is in the high 30s. Repairs are gonna be in the 55 to 60 range because I'll show you once we get inside. But the reason I picked this neighborhood, first of all, you'll see these little light posts in the front yard. That's a sign in Chicago of a high quality neighborhood. Now Chicago's an area that's very hard to flip from afar. If you're not gonna be here a lot, it's a really difficult place. Contractors are really difficult. Um, neighborhoods change from block to block extremely quickly and just a map won't tell you anything. But those street lights are a first indication of a neighborhood where the, the homeowners have taken ownership, they've all got together, they voted to have them put in and they've all paid for it. So. There's some obviously obvious love that needs to happen to the front of this property. The windows are still still fairly new. I'll take the exterior first. And you need to have off-street parking, preferably a garage. You can get away with having a pad, but it's gonna hurt your ARV and your desirability. So we put a garage into just about every property. Garages are not as expensive as you'd expect them to be here. So you'll see there's a pad here, but there's not a garage. So your pad we're going to expect to run us about six grand for a garage, excuse me, since the pad is here. If it wasn't, it'd be closer to nine grand with permits and everything. It only take about a day and a half to go up. The back of the house, the back of the house is not expected to be brick. And because the agent didn't meet me here, I'm gonna break into the house. Don't tell anybody, but I'll be gone by the time they get here, so. It's all right, just one second here. dark and dungeon-esque in the basement. We might as well walk it since we're here. This basement's gonna be cleaned up. There is a sump pump, very normal here, um, but it's still fairly dry. I don't see any seepage through the walls. There's a little mold back here by the utility room. These are about eight foot ceilings. If you can see here, there's quite a bit of head space and clearance in here. So you've got a lot of room in the, in the house. Very nice basement after it's done. We'll put one bedroom down here, typically a bathroom because the bathrooms do count. Um, in the basement, although the square footage in the bedrooms don't. We'll want to reroute the stairs to give some clearance so the stairs run, run uh, off to the one area, off to the, that direction, so they're not quite as steep and so that they don't run right into a wall. I'm going to recenter myself back to the, to the entry of the house. The house was locked, so I couldn't get in through the front door, but I'll walk back to the front door. So we're at the front door, we walk into an entryway. A lot of people are starting to think from a lot of people that come from out of town would think you'd want to tear that out and make it more open. But the Chicago people love that because of the cold weather and the wind starts blowing, they love an area where they can stay out of the cold or they can step in to take off their shoes where the, the gusts of winds, wind is not blowing into the house. However, we are expected to do a real open concept. So that wall right there that we're looking at, we'll tear that out so this will be one big great room, a dining room, living room, and then we're gonna tear out this fake fireplace. If it doesn't work, there's no reason to have it. There is no chimney chute, so we're gonna tear it out. We've got one bat bedroom here. The window is an old window, so we're gonna change that window out so it matches the rest of the house. Paint, light fixtures, we'll do the normal stuff. I'm gonna tilt you so that you're back to I would expect to see this. Your bathroom, complete gut job. New everything in your bathroom. Walk into the kitchen here. There's where we came up the stairs. There's a big pantry. We're going to leave the pantry. And then here's the kitchen. Of course it needs a new kitchen. We do um, new glass block tub surround new floors, new hardwood floors in the living and, and dining areas, new tile in this area. We'll close off this wall here and just make a little pantry and then close that off. So a big kitchen, one other bedroom that comes right off the kitchen. In a lot of the world, that would be weird. Not here, that's completely normal. So we have two bedrooms here on the main level. The bedroom in the basement doesn't count. We need to have at least three bedrooms. So I'm gonna take you up some stairs here. First, we need to, we need to 
make those stairs come out into the living area just a little bit because they're too steep right now. So we're gonna plan on, on, on a little landing, making them not quite as steep. And this is why we get expensive on this house is because we're going to dormer up here more than likely. We might have enough headspace where we don't have to dormer it, but we are going to put a bathroom right there and then a big master suite area up here. And finish that off. So there's one bedroom up here, two bedrooms on the main level, master suite with a huge walk-in closet over on that side, or two bedrooms. We can also put a bedroom there and a bedroom here and a bathroom right here. So we have two bedrooms upstairs, two on the main level, one bathroom in the basement. It's going to be a four bedroom, three bath house. We may have to dormer this attic up here. If we dormer the attic, um, we're going to add about $6,000 to the budget, but if we don't, we really could get out of here for in the, in the $50,000 range. So there's a property at 7613 Hermitage. I'm open to wholesale the property. I'm open for anybody to partner with me. There's a lot of opportunity on it. The ARV is about $150,000. We'll be all into the property right around 90 grand to $95,000. After we pay our agent, 110 would be our break even point. So anything above 110 is profit. I expect to sell it for the 150, 155 range. So there's a 40, $45,000 profit to be shared on this property if that's the direction you wish to take it. If you wanna take it and you wanna run with it and have it all to yourself, I'm more than happy to let you have it. 7613 Hermitage, look it up. I'll be sending over the comps later. We'll talk tonight at eight o'clock. Have a great day, guys.